So first, let's start out with the directory that's going to hold our Next.js application. I name my directory social, but feel free to name yours whatever you like. Next, let's navigate over to our terminal and CD into that folder. And once we're inside of that folder, let's start up our Next.js application by typing in the command npx create next app at latest space dot slash and press enter. We will not use TypeScript in this project. We will say yes to the ES link, yes to Tailwind CSS, yes to the SRC directory, yes to the app router, and no, we would not like to customize the default import alias. So let's begin installing a few dependencies that we're gonna use in this project. The first being bcrypt. Cloudinary. JSON Web Token, Mongoose, Next Off, React Icons, React Toastify, and last but not least, Time Ago. And as I mentioned, we'll go over these in detail as we use them. Now that we finished the installation of our dependencies, let's make sure our project is working properly by typing in the command npm run dev and press enter. And if we navigate over to our localhost 3000, we should see our Next.js application up and going with the standard default template. Everything is working properly with our Next.js application. Let's begin to customize our layout. In order to customize our layout, let's navigate over to the SRC folder. And within our SRC folder, this is where we will spend the bulk of our time customizing our project. Let's start out by first going into our globals.css file. Within this file, it's going to hold our global CSS. We're going to use Tailwind CSS to do our styling. So let's go ahead and remove all of the custom styling except for the Tailwind CSS components up top. So now that we've removed all of the custom CSS that comes within the Next.js file, let's go ahead and build in our own. So what I want to style for this particular project is strictly personal preference. Feel free to use whatever you like. But in order to change the font, I'll need to access the font family within the body of the project. And I've decided to use monospace with this particular project, but feel free to use whatever you like. Next, I'm going to care for the overflow X. This is just personal preference. I don't like for my windows to move so much on the X axis, just on the Y. So I'm going to place the overflow X to be hidden. So now that we've removed the custom CSS, let's navigate over to the page.js file. This is going to be within the SRC folder in the app folder. This is going to be the home page of our layout. For us, this particular page will also hold all of the individual posts that will be within our website. So in order to clean this site up a little bit, let's go ahead and select all the items within the page and let's remove them. Now that we have these items removed, I'm going to use the React custom snippet that comes within Visual Studio Code by typing in the command RFCE and then pressing tab. And this is going to give me a React functional component that's going to allow us to create customized components. Since I just created this component, you're going to notice that the page, that the word page is currently flashing. I want to go ahead and remove that and I want to type in the word home and press enter. And just to make sure that there, there isn't anything broken within our application, let's remove the div tabs that are currently listed here. So in the place of our div tags, let's add in the section tag. And within our section, let's add in an H2. And within our H2, let's just add in home page. And just to make sure that everything is working since we've made some changes, let's go back to our localhost 3000. And if we refresh the screen, we should see home page on our main localhost route. So now that we have our home page and CSS updated, let's go back to the SRC and within it create a folder named components. Within the components folder, we're going to hold reusable components that we're going to use throughout our application. The first reusable component is going to be our navbar. So within it, let's create a file named navbar.js. 
and within our navbar.js file, let's go ahead and use, type in the command R-A-F-C-E. Next, inside of our SRC directory, let's open up the folder titled app. And within the app, there's a file named layout.js. Let's open it. The layout.js file is going to allow us to structure our layout so that certain components that we enter within this file are reused throughout our application without having to import those components individually. So the main component that we want to make sure that is accessible throughout our application is our navbar. So we're not going to use the custom Google font that's at the top. We can remove the class name from our body tag, import our navbar by typing in the word import. And if we type and if we begin to type in navbar as we created the file within the components folder, we should see that we actually have it listed right here. So if we click on that particular link, we should see that our navbar component is automatically imported into this file. Now that we use the import statement to bring in our navbar, let's go ahead and customize our layout. Let's temporarily remove the children bracket here from within our body. So first, we're going to add in the main HTML tag. This is just to make sure that we have the correct syntax to cover our main layout. Next, we'll bring in the class name, setting the background of our layout to be gray. And we'll go ahead and ask that this main fills up our entire screen. Next, we'll bring in the nav bar that we just imported so that it's within our full layout. And then finally, we'll add the children back in, which are going to represent the pages within our directory so that each page has the nav bar that we just added in addition to the custom Tailwind CSS styling that we added within the class name. If we save our file and navigate back to our local host, we're going to see that we now have the nav bar listed here at the top of our window. And we also have the home page listed as well. And so just to make sure our layout and nav bar routing is working as designed, let's temporarily add in a page to make sure that we can pick up our nav bar on the additional site. So let's go ahead and navigate back to our main directory and let's open up our SRC folder. And within our app folder, let's add a folder named register. And in order for our Next.js routing to work within our register folder, let's add a page name page.js within our register page just to make sure it's working we're not going to worry about styling it or adding any significant code at this point let's use the rfce template again and let's just click on save and now that we have our function component here let's remove the page from the screen and let's replace it with register click save now if we go back to our Next.js application, after the localhost 3000, if we add a slash register, we should see that our Next.js application routes to the register page, and we still have our nav bar listed there at the top of the window. So this means that our layout is working as designed, our routes are routing as designed, and we can continue on building out some of the front end functionality of our Next.js application. So in the next videos, we'll go ahead and work on our nav bar, adding in links so that we can begin to link the different pages within our application. And we'll also set up those pages so that we can have at least the page structure of our front end layout. I genuinely appreciate you watching today's video. I'll see you in the next.